welcome back. Rebecca Jean here with Style My Sweets. And today I'm so excited to bring you guys some beautiful home decor, room decor, wall art pieces. These are gonna be watercolor, marble, um, kind of abstract modern art and geode type pieces. I've always loved the geode art and watercolor art. I think it's so gorgeous. I love that every piece really comes out completely unique and totally custom. So you can use the colors that you wanna use for your own home, for your own space and even if you reuse the same colors on every piece, every piece is like a fingerprint, completely different, and I love that. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the watercolor art pieces, and I think I will save my favorite one for last. I really love how they all came out, but one of them in particular looks more like a marble geode, even though it's watercolor painting, and I just really love that. But anyway, you'll have to let me know which one of these is your favorite, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna have to let me know if you like this one better with the brown and gold and pink or the last one where I'm going to include some black and gray with the pink and rose gold let me know which one you like the best no matter what colors that you want to use the first thing you're going to want to do is brush your entire watercolor canvas with water. I'm gonna link the watercolor paper that I used here down below. I'm gonna be reusing frames that I already had around the house. You can definitely pick up some really inexpensive frames at a local thrift store. Um, and then you can always paint them or change the frame to match your decor and create your own artwork to put in the frame. So it is a win-win. I absolutely love that I am able to create some brand new, very custom, original, handmade pieces of art and fill up the frames that I already had and completely changed the look and style of our room. If you're hesitant about painting, I totally get it. And I highly recommend trying liquid watercolor. It is really, really easy to use. I start with my darker color first and add a few drops. And as long as your watercolor paper is all wet, the watercolor, the liquid watercolor will just spread out beautifully and just create these gorgeous, unique designs, depending on the size and the amount of the liquid that you drop and where you drop it. So I start with a darker color and then I add a few drops of my pink. And then I came back with my metallic gold. I wanted to brush some of that in. You can always lighten up your painting. If you feel like you've added too much of a darker color, you can go back with a lighter one like this white paint here and add that as well. And I definitely love adding in a little bit of gold. I, the metallic part is definitely a personal preference. If that's not something you like, just leave it out. But for me, I absolutely love the way that it just adds some sparkle and dimension to my watercolor wall art decor. I think this is so beautiful. My dad brought home this gold frame that was in the trash and I framed a very Tuscan piece of art. The print that I had in here definitely doesn't go with our current home decor. So I wanted to fill this in with something a little bit abstract, something a little more modern. And I definitely wanna bring in pink because I do love pink and gold and rose gold. And I'm gonna just cut down my watercolor art here now just to make it fit inside this frame. And here is how this one turned out. Out. I would also like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Today's DIYs were inspired by some recent classes I took on Skillshare, including the class by Jules Tillman titled Creating Beautiful Abstract Art quickly and easily. Skillshare is an online learning community for anyone looking to take the next step in their creative journey. They offer thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on so many topics, including illustration, photography, video, creative writing, business classes, and even different arts and craft techniques. Skillshare classes include a combination of both video lessons and creative projects that will fit 
both your schedule and your skill level. Skillshare classes are curated specifically for learning with no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes as well. And right now, Skillshare is kindly offering the first 1,000 of my subscribers a free trial of Skillshare premium membership by clicking the link down below in the description box. And after that, it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So no matter what 2021 brings, you can spend it creating something beautiful and meaningful and exploring your creativity. And Jules Tillman's class on creating beautiful abstract art quickly and easily definitely boosted my confidence and inspiration. So I do highly recommend her class and I'll have all the information in the description box for you. For this piece now, I'm branching out with this rose gold metallic watercolor paint set. These were not as easy to use as just dropping the liquid and watching it spread and make magic. But being a color palette, it is fantastic that you can dilute this as much or little as you like to really just create the watercolor that you want. Or, you know, you can make it more opaque and pigmented, use less water, and you can get a really deep, beautiful, rich color on here to create more definition. So you can make this watercolor geode type art however you want using, you know, just more or less water to make it like the one that I'm making today. Now I did actually use two pinks in here. I will link them below, the lighter pink and the darker pink of these watercolors. The lighter pink is probably my favorite, so that's the one that I'm going to be using from now on in my future um, watercolors in the rest of this video, you'll see. I'm starting with some black India ink. You want to kind of start with less and then add a little more if you want it. But once you kind of get a few, you know, unique spots with the dark paint, go ahead and add the pink in there. Make sure that you've got enough water. If your air is really, really dry, like ours is in the winter, I did have to go back and add more water onto the canvas. Um, paper first just because it was drying out way too fast and if it's too dry then you're going to see that your watercolor liquid paints won't spread but I used the liquid black and then the liquid pink and the gray was simply created from the overflow of having a wet paper and then dropping that black ink and it will really spread so you get a lot of nice gray tones in the edges in here and then I used that rose gold palette and try to kind of find some lines to kind of develop some veining through the pink and black and around the edges in between where kind of the gray and the pink tones were meeting. And then the last thing I did was I really did decide to come back with that gold paint just because the gold paint really adds a lot of metallic definition and detail and it it's even a little bit thicker so that one actually adds a little bit of texture and I just feel like it looks absolutely amazing. For this piece, I wanted to actually try just using pink and rose gold and see how that turned out by itself with no darker colors in here and just try to keep this one really light and bright and airy and I simply diluted some of the rose gold from this palette here and like I said I'll have this one linked down below and in my Amazon storefront if you're trying to find any of these. I didn't know where I wanted to put this one so what I actually ended up doing was simply cutting this in half and putting it into two 11 by 14 inch frames that I got in Dollar Tree. These are black frames that I spray painted rose gold. And I think these just look so beautiful here. Moving on for the next piece I'm doing today, I have one of these little copper glass vases from Dollar Tree and I'm actually going to be adding some painter's tape down the sides in order to create just a straight line down the center. And that straight line down the center, I'm going to go ahead and paint with my vintage pink chalk paint. Once that's dry, I come back and do a second coat on there as well, just to make sure that it is completely covered. And then once that second layer has dried, I came back in with this kind of copper color paint and I simply dipped my brush in it. And then I simply tapped my paintbrush so that I could kind of speckle all of this copper paint on top of the pink paint. And then once that's dry, I just go ahead and take my 
painter's tape off the edges and obviously I wanted to do this for all four sides of this vase but I have a straight line down the center with my pink and copper and then this way you see the little bit of that um, amber coppery color glass on the corners so I really like how this one turned out and I just styled a little fern from Michaels and some Dollar Tree roses in here and that is how all there was to this one and obviously you could customize this with whatever color paint that you have to fit with your own decor. For the next one, I've really wanted to get some rose gold marble coasters for our home and I decided I would just go ahead and try to DIY this. So I actually bought this little section here. Um, it's like a tile backsplash piece, I guess. I got it on Amazon, although I believe you can probably find this in Lowe's and Home Depot. I'm just going to pull off these little marble hexagon tiles and I did sand down the corners a little bit if there was any like glue residue. Now you do not have to add any metal leafing on here now if you don't want to if you just want to have marble coasters a really easy thing to do would be to take some of this cork foam adhesive and this is just found in Dollar Tree you could just trace and cut out a piece to fit the bottom of your marble tile coaster and you could leave it like that if you wanted to but like I said I really wanted a rose gold one so I did find some rose gold leafing on Amazon, I will have the link for that as well. And I'm using a leaf adhesive for this. You brush it on the edges of your marble coaster tile and then simply press that down into the gold leaf. Um, it does say to wait a little bit, so I did give it a few minutes to kind of wait and just kind of set up so it wasn't so wet. It was a little more, I guess, tacky instead of watery um, before I pressed it into the gold leaf paper and I just let that dry on there and then you can just brush away the excess on the corners. I did come back once these were clean and dry and I pulled off all of the excess gold leaf. I did come back and use a gloss Mod Podge to kind of finish and seal the edges and now that I'm thinking about it I bet Mod Podge would probably work instead of the leaf adhesive in a pinch if you don't have the leaf adhesive but I will have everything linked down below if you're trying to find any of these pieces. The last thing I did was again cut out that cork foam for the bottom of this and I just think it really completes the look and I'm so excited to finally have some rose gold edge marble tile coasters. I think these turned out so pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. And again, a huge thank you to Skillshare as well for sponsoring today's video. And I will have that link down below in the description box. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers that want to click on that link down below, you're going to get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. And then after that, it is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So I hope that you guys will check out that link down below. And as always, I wish you a beautiful and blessed day, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.